I hope you're doing well. Today we will see what are some of the best moments of humanity. Thank you for clicking on this video. It is brought to you by the Question Answer Channel. Thanks to Leighton, Stefania McCarlson, Ben Wright and Christopher Rayner for sharing their answers to this question with us. The first answer will be from Leighton. Photo courtesy of Wikipedia. This is Aitizaz Hassan Bangish. He was a 15-year-old schoolboy from an area called Hangu in Pakistan. He died on the 7th of January 2014. He was a ninth grader at Ibrahim Zai High School. By some accounts he was an accomplished student and excelled in extracurricular activities. On the 7th of January 2014, he and two friends were late for school and had missed assembly. There were almost 2,000 students attending school that morning. Aitizaz and his friends noticed an older man, about 25, heading towards school but they also noticed he had a detonator. Aitizaz told his friends he was going to tackle the suicide bomber. His friends tried to persuade him not to, but Aitizaz said that he cannot let this man kill his friends. He threw a stone at the suicide bomber but missed. The bomber tried to run towards the school so Aitizaz ran after and grabbed the man. The suicide bomber blew himself up. Aitizaz died in hospital later that day. His father, Mujahid Ali Bangish is quoted as saying, My son made his mother cry, but saved hundreds of mothers from crying for their children. Edit. I have had a few suggestions for edit. One suggested that I describe this remarkable young man as a martyr. I have purposely stayed away from hyperbole, because this story needs to be told simply, using simple words. It is a very powerful story and requires no embellishments. So I have rejected that suggestion. Several others have reworded some of my descriptions to make more complex sentence structures. Please note that the impact of this story is the actions of the young man. I am not trying to show my writing ability, that would detract from the narrative. The simplicity and the naivety of the sentences are intentional, your edits are simply contrary to my intention. Please understand my reasons for rejecting these suggestions. Some edits have suggested commas and similar other improvements to punctuation. I think that is mainly pedantic and have rejected them simply because they are done alongside more fundamental edits described above. Please feel free to suggest corrections, that improves the narrative, not detracts from it or turns this simple telling of the story into a totally different style. The next answer is from Stefania McCarlson. While reading human history facts I found this brave kids. We continue with Ben Wright's answer. During World War II, an Italian doctor invented a fictitious disease which fooled the Nazis. Dr. Vittorio Sacerdoti worked in a small hospital on an island in the River Tiber. He lived in the Jewish ghetto during the war and was terrified when the Nazis arrived and started to haul away his fellow Jews. He came up with a fake disease which he named K-Syndrome, named after the German commander, Kesselring. He admitted as many Jews to his hospital as he could and diagnosed them with K-Syndrome. At the moment when we had to say what disease they suffered. It was Syndrome K, meaning, I am admitting a Jew, as if he or she were ill, but they were all healthy, Dr. Osicini. The doctors instructed patients to cough very loudly and told Nazis that the disease was extremely dangerous, disfiguring and very contagious. Soldiers were so alarmed by the list of symptoms and incessant coughing that they left without inspecting the patients. Edit. A small correction, the man in the pic above is Giovanni Borromeo. Both Sacerdoti and Borromeo came up with a plan to diagnose the refugees with a fictitious disease. And the name Syndrome K came from Dr. Adriano Ossicini, an anti-fascist physician working at the hospital. The next answer is from Christopher Rayner. I have seen this story and that moment is heart-touching. This is the end of the video, I hope you have more answers. You can now subscribe if you like the video more, remember to also leave a like, it helps for the referencing on YouTube. This is now the end of this video, remember to leave a comment to tell us if these answers resonate with you. Bye and see you soon.